Dan Wingard here, Office Leader, Redmond John L. Scott, just wrapping up our writing an offer in Transaction Desk in Authentisign. This is the Authentisign portion. I'm here at my home, as most of you might be scrambling, trying to put an offer together, finish it up, get it off to your buyer. So we're going to do a condensed version here of what it takes to get an offer through. I encourage you to go to the Northwest Multiple. The, um, the training there is clear as far as what that provides. Let's see if we can go through that. On the Northwest Multiple, if you go to on home support and the transaction desk and then Authentisign, you're gonna have just some great documentation there available. So I encourage you to refer to that. This is gonna be the video format and hopefully this will help kind of see what's going on. So at this point we have the forms filled out, the documents there from the listing pulled over and we're going to a signing, and that's where we are. You won't have this new Authentisign here. It's just gonna go right here. And we're going to um, create a signing, schmo, schmo and uh, seller. I don't remember their name. Agreement, I like to start out with agreement when I'm sending an offer over to the listing broker hopefully stay in agreement. Okay, so here we have, it starts out with the signers and you see these portions along the left here. I'm not gonna set a signing order. I'm gonna add participants from transaction and they're myself as the buyer broker and Joe Schmo's already in from the transaction that you created previously. Anything else we need to do up here? I think that's good. We can select those and we can either go to docs over here, just add document or form here. That's gonna take us to all of the forms and documents we have so far. And we have some options up here. We could upload from our computer and my files is maybe documents you've already saved from a different place. Let's see, I don't even, my folders, shared documents, transaction folder, you can go there. All right, so we're gonna stick with my transaction. Hopefully you have everything already here. Again, if not, if you need, if you forgot the legal uh, to add that, anything that you wanna send to the buyer for signing, you can upload from your computer there. So we'll add the form 21. I don't think we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep this short as far as what we're going to include 22D. Um, we want them to look at the FERPTA and evidence of funds. Let's see the utilities addendum. Just make sure if you're adding the 22J or the 22K, you didn't actually accidentally pull over your form that you're actually utilizing the document that was submitted by the listing broker. So we're gonna include the wire fraud, uh, buyer's advisory in a seller's market, the great form for everybody in this market, the law of real estate agency, I can't recall if this was older than 1978, if we need lead paint, paint, anything like that. I'm just not going to do that. Again, we could have deleted some of these forms already, but we have a lot to choose from. We'll add the legal description, 22K, that must be the one from the seller, seller disclosure. And uh, we don't need to include the offer guide and notes unless that's relevant to the buyer roof receipt, maybe we're gonna send that all to them. We can do that. And I do have a video as well on removing forms. So once you send this to them for signing, you don't need to send all of that to the listing broker. You wanna clean up your offer and send only the relevant things to them. So we're just gonna utilize those so far. And then we have everything that we added here. Joe Schmo is the only one we need for the signature blocks. Oh, and I want to go back to the signers because I recognize that I'm actually not going to be signing anything and it's going to stop you if, uh, if that's the case uh, at the end. Uh, you say you need to be signing somewhere. So I'm going to remove myself. I did that all for your benefit. And then I'm going to get back to the documents. And so here we are. We can drag and drop these anywhere we want. Um, I like to... Uh, grab it here and move it up. Uh, the wire fraud alert. I want to make sure the law is first and foremost that they're receiving that before they sign anything. And you can see that, where did that law go? It did go to the top. 
Now, if this, if there's too many, like this can easily get to be a lot of forms to where there's more than will fit on here. And then you have to scroll up and down. I found that when you do drag it up, it doesn't automatically keep scrolling them up. So you may have to drop it towards the top and then move it down again. All right, so again, we can go back to add anything, but I think this is a buyer advisory. I'll move that up here as well towards the top and then everything offer relevant, including the disclosure. Okay, so we've got the law here. Let's go to the tools portion. Make sure that Joe Smo is the one. Maybe you've got a couple of buyers that are there. And then we're just going to drag the initials over. Now, if you just click on the initials, it's going to pop in by default. This one, I think I've set it to go to the middle. And you'll notice I can click on it and click delete. You'll notice that the date automatically pulled over. If this is your first time, it's not likely going to do that. So I'm going to click on the initials here. And this is likely the default at the beginning uh, where the date stamp will not be there. So I want to save as default settings. Now, every time I click on initial, it'll go over and I'll do the same for the signature when you pull that over. All right, so that'll show that they've received the law. Then I wanna go down here. Now, if I was signing anything, if there's a 22J, I could go and just click on my full name and drag it over there, but I don't. So I need a text box. So I click that and I draw it up here and then I type in my name. And I must've hit something that got me out of there. So I'll go back here, put that in. I like to just keep it easy. And instead of pulling in another text box, I'll just put a bunch of spaces and put in the phone number where, you have any questions, give me a call, all right? Okay, and then we can adjust this, we can move it down. You can also change the font size up here. Let's say I wanna be big, I wanna be larger than life. Then I can change that there, I can change the color. If I want to um, stand out, be a little different. And if I want to, I just have a couple of op options there. I'm gonna stick with Arial. And alignment, you can have it set up different ways there. Bold, let's, let's go ahead and be bold, italic. So all of those are there and I can save any of that as default settings. I wouldn't encourage you to do lime green for your default settings. So let's just go back to uh, black. And um, we've got that there. Now we've got to pull in Joe's signature here. So we'll X out of that and just have him sign. And there we go. By default, the date was there. I like to look clean, move that over. Here's the buyer's advisory in a seller's market. I want to make sure the initials there. So we'll drag the initials over there. I don't necessarily need the date on that, so I can remove that. And I'll put it on here that they acknowledge our risks. You can leave the date if you want. Uh, now, everything else should be by default. If it was a form, it's gonna be by default where a buyer's signature or initial should be. Um, there you go. What we're seeing in this market is some people um, striking this last paragraph here or striking a portion of it like zero days they, the buyer has to verify all information. Attorneys don't like us striking this, and yet we see it almost every day. So I'll just draw this across, draw this across. And the thing is, yes, we don't like it, but if somebody else is waiving it, um, and it means that our buyer may not get it and our buyer is willing to be okay with it, that's what is. Okay, so any changes that you make, you're gonna wanna have initial, so I'll put that there and maybe move it so the date uh, can be out of the way of things. Uh, this is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. We'll throw that in there. Although I do lead an office and get a lot of questions like that. Okay. Um, don't need anything here. Citizen status. Um, actually, this wasn't filled out. So I'm gonna make sure that is by the listing broker. And here, this was already, this just happens to have already been, no, I'm sorry, this is filled out automatically. Good, good. And then we pull the initials over here. So that's it, quick and easy. Oh, okay, so one of the thing, one of my pet peeves is I see a lot of these listing agent forms 
that aren't filled out completely. So we wanna make sure that we, I don't put the date in here, like the auto date, unless I know that the date that the buyer is going to sign this is gonna be the same date of the rest of the purchase and sale agreement. So we have June 17th on that. So I'd wanna make sure that June 17th, 2021, my goodness, that's when I first put this together. Um, okay, so again, text box, click on that, we draw that, we put the date in. And uh, 6, 17, 21. And then we can go to the buyer and pull their full name over for that. All right, seller disclosure, go down to the end here. And by default, the buyer is in there. And if we want to add that they are uh, waiving the right to revoke the offer, we can put it in there. Um, this is a little redundant to have them both in there, but we just see it all the time. So go for it. Again, not legal advice. Okay, so that's basically it for putting all, pulling all the initials. What else do we need to look at here? Initials, if you need to put a checkbox in there, there's that ability. Um, if you want initial pages, there's a bunch of pages that have the initial in the same place. That's what you'd utilize. Um, choices, again, go to the full tutorial. This is a down and dirty, get it done, get the offer in, make it look great. We're not gonna get into layouts or options. So once we're sure of this, we'll go back through, speed read, no, don't speed read, slow down and make sure you have everything correct, review what you've done, and then you're going to click next. That will set it up to get sent. I just leave this as it is. Um, I mean, if you want to send reminders, I'm in close communication with buyers, so I'm not gonna have, need this to be anything different than what's there. Go on and go ahead and click send. If your buyer has not received a signing yet, there is a document. If you go back to the Northwest Multiple on AuthentiSign, and it says uh, signing electronically. This is a great resource for your buyer to look at, uh, maybe prior to or along with sending it to them. Okay, so that's it for wrapping up, putting together an offer in Transaction Desk and AuthentiSign. So happy sales. I hope you win the deal.